I'm gonna try something a little new. I haven't uploaded a video yet. Um, I don't. Speech class told me not to do the um thing. This is scary. Doing live videos unedited, unfiltered. But that is what trying something new involves is being uncomfortable. And say that I'm uncomfortable about a lot right now. A lot of things that are stretching and growing and hurting. <laughs> Ah, uh, repositioning is a good way to put it. Um, restructuring. Uh, um, um. Let's go ahead and get all the ums out. Um, um. Supposed to be a healing frequency anyway. So the healing frequency of restructuring and readjusting and I see a piece of dust. Or a seed. I think it's actually a seed. Sure it's from the dogs that they brought in. So let's go with that. So seeds being planted is the first part. And then subsequently things get watered and they get sunlight and they flourish. And hopefully become abundant. So in the restructuring, and in the sunlight, and in the watering of life, comes the abundance. There might be a period of turmoil, or difficulty, or challenges, or all sorts of things. Choices that may not have been the best, or maybe were the best. If we truly believe that all things work together for good. For those that love God, and for those who are called according to his purpose. My belief is that God is love. So if you love love, and you're called according to love, which is to love one another, and to love love with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, then I believe that the path is made straight in that love. I believe in the power of love. And I believe in the power of forgiveness and grace, both towards myself, which is, I would say towards oneself is one of the most difficult, most challenging ones towards others. I think many times people can find that easier than towards themselves. But doing to others as you would have them do unto you means you release yourself as well. Holding, therefore, now no guilt or condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Acknowledging love. Acknowledging... I guess shortcomings would be the way. The word. Not way. Refreshment. So, this is an upload. This isn't a short so this is a little bit slower. You might want to do the little fast forward thing because there's also some contemplation that's going on since this is fresh and new. And I like to do things well. And 
I like to choose my words wisely, but you know. So hold on just a momento. I have company that wants to come in and say hello. So come on, boys. Hey, boy. Come on. Hey. It's Patrick in Dublin. Hey, babe. Hmm. All right. So, all smiles. Come here, big baby. Hey, I love you. I love you, sweetheart. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, look at Ms. Dari Anthem. Okay. All right. I love you. I just smile. This smile. She's precious. And they are so restful and loving and... Ah. Uh, look at this bundle. Look at him. Look at that. Look at him. Oof. Oof. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the talk. I'm so distracted, because, let me show you this. Like, I just, the smile. When she smiles. When she smiles. And the way that these two guys snuggle up at night is just the bomb. It's like, get the camera away from me. No. No. Okay. So. A little touch of my world. Is. Them. They, they bring joy. I bring joy. So. Anyway. These rascals brought in. A seed. One of them. And so. The sunlight shining on the bed. Um, oh my gosh, look at this, I gotta show you this too. Oh my gosh, y'all, that is mud. That's mud. It's mud. Oh boy. Oh. It's mud, it's mud, buddy. I have... Telling you, I have cleaned up so much mud. So much dirt. So much. <sighs> so that's eight minutes of chit chat. It's about nine. It's not really that hard, I guess. Um, but how to keep attention of people who come to join in is probably to um, have a little bit more to talk about. But see, this isn't a life where I desire to live like the world. This isn't a life where I desire to please the world and conform to the world. I desire to be transformed by the renewing of my mind, and I believe the renewing of my mind is to renew my mind back into remembrance. Remember. Remember. So, here's the meaty, nitty gritty of the message. 
And that message is to remember the power within you. To remember the strength within you. To remember where you came from and who you are. And if we're created, and I, I say if, but it's not if. We are created in the image of God. So being created in the image of God is being created in the image of love. So it's remembering the creation that we are, which is love, remembering that we are love and that we are loved. So that puts aside, it sets aside to all <sighs> uncomfortability, which happens. I mean, our bodies are uncomfortable sometimes, our minds are uncomfortable sometimes, our emotions are uncomfortable sometimes, our... God... Our love is uncomfortable sometimes. It's underestimated sometimes. I believe sometimes it's actually underestimated within ourselves. The power that we have to change the tide, to turn the current, to respond in better ways. But setting aside all of that heavy burden of trying to get it all right all the time. I've had this thought before and this thought exists around this concept of love, which is five o'clock. Dismiss. Okay. Concept of love, number five. Five, number of completion, I believe. So faith, hope, and love abide in these things, but the greatest of these is love. You can have faith to move mountains. You can have all knowledge. You can understand all mysteries. You can have all the common sense in the world. You can understand the logistics of everything, but without love, it's absolutely nothing. So my belief is that our call is to love. And for me to say that is to say love is patient, love, love is kind. Love doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, it doesn't act unbecomingly, it doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, it rejoices with truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Well, that's great to hold everyone else accountable for love. But then we hold ourselves accountable too, right? And so, you know, if I'm having a day and, you know, I'm patient with someone because they're being a little brash, shouldn't I also expect that there's days that I'm going to be a little brash and it's okay. There's days that I'm going to fall short and it's okay. Is it not right for me to expect the same respect when I fall short? It absolutely is. Absolutely. And it's absolutely necessary for me to do the same. Thing. <sighs> wow that's a lot that's a lot but it's not too much it's not too high of a calling but it it's a rest it's a it's a peace because we're all pieces. We're all a part of this ginormous love. 
And one of the things that I've learned as I continue to live, which, wow, this life is entertaining and it is, there's so many simple things that are just so gorgeous, like the oranges outside that I'm just like inside, I just want to go pick them. I don't want to open them up, I don't want to eat them. And I want to share a video of them with someone. And, you know, I like to look at those things. I like to live those things. But there's things there's parts of life that aren't so fun to live, like sadness and sorrow and anger and for me for so long it was boundaries, it was like I'm not worthy to set my own boundaries because I must be loving but reality has called me to do that for myself, to care for myself, regardless, regardless, in spite of, it does not matter, it doesn't matter what you've done, where you've come from, you're responsible for you, and you are responsible to set the boundaries that you need for you, for your own health, for your own well-being. So that you can deal with your own sadness and your own sorrow and your own hurt and your own you can sift and sort and recalibrate your own nervous system and yeah yeah so that's deep that's a while and we dig a lot of wells. <laughs> What I'm thankful for is when we dig a well and it reaches water. Because that water is our soul and our spirit and our being. It causes that seed that's brought in by the wind or by a stranger or that kind word that's spoken or whatever, it causes that to grow. If it was someone that was cherished, is cherished, is, just, it brings the water and the water is nourishment to our soul. I've always thought there's a song that's like healing rain and healing rain to me is our tears and sometimes life delivers them in joyous little packages or packages of challenges and stretching and all sorts of things. I have endured, experienced both. Enduring is one, experiencing is another, kind of both. Yeah, so the message today is to endure and to live in love. And always find the center of love. It might take time. It might take time to feel through the feelings of upset and a dysregulated nervous system. And it might take some, it might involve A recalibration of sorts, hopefully without lessons. 
his lessons are taxing. And my desire for myself is not to tax myself. Is not to earn or learn, but to embrace and hold and create um, create a container that holds the seed in good soil so that it flourishes and isn't leaky and isn't you can have rocks at the bottom but the roots can get through and it's got good soil all throughout. And if we just return to that center point, that center point is good soil. Because that center point is you. That center point is that place in which you remember who you are. And that scatters the rest. If you have a really good, strong root system, that plant's going to overpower anything in its way. Hands down. So my belief is that when we return to that center point of self, and I have a better language around this now, because of a multitude of reasons. And I'm so grateful for myself and for those that are a part of my life. So I'm going to leave that here um, in a very moist <laughs> place of just goodness and sweetness. And it's like going outside, which I will do, and picking that orange and opening it up. And when that juice hits my lips, being like, oh my God, this day. This day that sometimes feels overwhelming, sometimes I don't understand everything. But that juiciness of life is what drives and catapults me within myself in that deep, ardent, loving heart. <sighs> Deuces.